Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back to process control tutorial Today we are going to learn about PID controller tuning using internal model control The learning outcome of this tutorial is students should be able to adjust PID parameter using IMC method and use simulink to run dynamic simulation with the obtained PID parameter values Let us recall a problem in the first part video of our tutorial This process model is similar to first order plus time delay model This J tilde equal to 2 exponent negative 8 s over 4 s plus 1 and in the previous part we have obtained the pi and pid parameter if we have time constant equal to 2 and today we would like to adjust the parameter if the tau c equal to 4 and 10 and then we will run dynamic simulation using simulink to deeper our understanding on this tuning process first of all we have to read table 12.1 in the textbook process dynamic and control in that table we get the similar model to our problem is in the case g and h <laughs> with this equation we can calculate kc and note that for kc we have to add 1 over k term so kc equal to 1 over k times this term and for time integral or tau i we use these equations and for derivative in the case h we use this equation and today we are going to calculate the value of pid controller using matlab and then visualize this tuning problem using simulink before we are going to MATLAB note that in Simulink the form of our PID controller are going to be chosen and in this simulation we use ideal form to get this PID controller form in the previous video we know that the PID controller form in the textbook we use ideal with derivative filter like this these equations are equal with some relations below this P equal to KC and I equal to 1 over tau I G equal to tau G and N equal to 1 over alpha tau G N is derivative filter it is constant we can choose a value in range 2 up to 20 this range can be found in the textbook that used in Calcutta University for process dynamic and control this is the MATLAB code we are going to use for our calculation of PID controller in the first section here we have data for our calculation we have k equal to 2 tau equal to 4 tau c 4 and 10 and theta equal to 8 so we have four simulation actually yes and for model G for tau C 4 and 10 and for model H for the tau C 4 and 10 so in this section we calculate the PID the PI I'm sorry PI parameter for model G we calculate KC tau I and tau G here with this equation and note that we have to modify 
this value into simulink term and for each module we also calculate kc tau i and for this module because this is a pid controller we also calculate tau g with this equation and then we have to modify the parameter into simulink term and in this section is like a recalculation we make four pairs of our PID parameter. The next section is running simulink in MATLAB. We use sim and then we call the simulink function or simulink file here. And to get the results of our simulation, we use get here the variables we have to extract is time and the control variable in this section is about plotting here I am separating the PI plot and PID plot Simulink setup is going to be simple. This this is the block diagram for our simulation here. We have set point, disturbance, PID controller, and this is our process module. We have first order module and time delay module. <laughs> to set up set point we are going to change the value of set point into when at zero second and for disturbance we change the value at 150 second into the value of three we have time delay here theta and for our module we have k and tau for the numerator and denominator for PID controller setup note that we have to choose ideal form to get this PID form and then we fill in this blank with PID and N this is the result of our calculation of PID controller. We can see that the values of KC decrease as tau C increase. Next, next is the results of our simulation from simulink. In the left side here is for PI controller or G model and in the right side is for PID controller or H model. From this result we know that the response of PID controller are more oscillating than PI control because the PID controller has derivative term. And for both two cases, the maximum deviation can be found when the tau c is equal to 4, which is less than the second values because the 4 value is not in the recommended range of tau c, while tau c equal to 10 is based on tau c criteria which is can be found in our textbook and in general for this problem the higher tau c we will get the response of our simulation is less oscillatory we arrive in the final section of our tutorial today 
we can conclude that IMC tuning relation simply allow us to get stable response of a single loop closed loop system and PI control gives less oscillatory response for a given FOPTB model in a single loop control system and good value of tau c is important to be adjusted based on available criterion to get smaller maximum deviation and less oscillatory response thank you for watching this video i hope you can catch up with the important point of this tutorial thank you